in MSL Group was inherited from my dad, and I'm very proud of that. Dad was Maury Lee, and his partner was Jim Selvage, and they formed the business in 1938. In 1971, they combined with Manning, and it became Manning, Selvage, and Lee, the MS and L. As a young boy, Dad always talked about work, and at the time, they were very involved with proxy fights, and they did a great job of defending management against hostile takeovers. They were involved with over 80 proxy fights, and the largest of that being the Montgomery Ward fight, and they were successful in all 80 cases of proxy fights of defending management from a hostile takeover. One of the fun PR pieces was when Howard Johnson's was opening in New York City, their first hotel. And what they decided to do for the grand opening is give free hot dogs to every cabbie in New York City. And that day, no one could find a cab. Where were the cabs? They were all at Howard Johnson's having their free hot dog. And where's Howard Johnson's? It all came around to be a great PR piece. They let loose a lot of crows within New York City. And people would call in and say they spotted these crows that were very unusual. And the answer was, well, that's a promotion for Old Crow Bourbon. That was a PR stunt for Manning, Selvage, and Lee. Les Turner was a gentleman with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And when he was at home in his wheelchair, he saw a neighbor throwing out LP records. And he thought if he could get them to donate those, he could resell them and raise funds for a foundation. They called up Manning, Selvage, and Lee and asked for support of public relations. And they put together an idea of having a mammoth music mart took on Dick Clark, who's a Dick Clark from American Bandstand. That fundraiser went on for 25 years and raised millions of dollars. In 2014, it's great to see MSL Group helping the same organization that Les Turner turned to in the late 70s. I'm here in New York to support a very good friend, Doug McConnell. And Doug is going to swim around Manhattan. He'll swim this way, 28 and a half miles. And this isn't new to Doug. He swam the English Channel in 2011. He swam the Catalina Islands. He swam Tampa Bay. But this is the triple crown of long distance swimming. Doug lost his dad to ALS. This swim is within a week of the anniversary of Luke Eric's famous speech, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Doug will be swimming right by Yankee Stadium to celebrate that. It's been uh, wonderful working with some of the new leaders of MSNL on this promotion and seeing the power of the media and social media today in taking the story forward about Doug Swim. It's great to see the commitment of this organization being as strong as it was back in the 70s when dad was at the helm. Giving back is extremely important. I grew up seeing my dad giving back in many ways. For me, it's finding significance in life. It's finding purpose. And we all need to find our purpose.